I'm Elliot Salt and this is my weekly weigh-in with Womag. I think uh, despite our first loss of the season, I think spirits are pretty, uh, still quite high. We went toe to toe with uh, two Premiership outfits the last two weeks, so uh, we can't be disheartened with that at all, I don't think. I think boys put in a shift uh, on, on both occasions, so spirits are high and uh, plenty of positives and a few things to work on. You take a lot of lessons from a game like that. Yeah, I think it's so, and it's not doesn't quite go away like it has done the last few games, but still a lot to learn from. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a game of small margins. I think on another day we might pit them, but on, there's a few things, uh, a few truths that come out of a game like that, um, especially sort of round set piece and stuff. Um, when you go like toe to toe with a, with a better team, it. Uh, you see a lot about yourself and uh, there's definitely a, we're just gonna use that as our to our advantage and just keep getting better I think and what do you think you guys have learned the most over the past like few weeks playing against two prem sides I think it's just we've got to be clinical when it comes to sort of those 22 entries I think we had way too many 22 entries uh, in the Northampton game and didn't come away with points and when you just come up a team like that, you've got to take your chances and uh, we probably weren't as clinical as we would have liked to have been. Back into the champ now, uh, a weekend against Amptill. What's the, uh, I know a had the whole back to business thing on Monday morning. Can not talk me through that? Yeah, I had just a message in the group chat Sunday night saying, dress smart, suit and tie Monday morning. So we were all rattling our brains. We had no idea what was coming. We thought we were going out for a fancy lunch or something, but no, it was just, uh, Sticking with the theme of back to business this week, just trying to um, turn our heads from the uh, the Prem Cup and back into the league and back to the uh, Championship opposition. So it's uh, we've been spoiled with the with the crowd and the places we played the last few weeks. So it's uh, it's back to back to what we know and back to the graft. And it is obviously Amt on the weekend. What's the um, thinking going into that? Is it like this is going to we know it's a different place to go than what we've been the last few weeks, but it yeah. still stays the same, surely? Yeah, 100%. Just got to bring the enthusiasm and the, and the work ethic on Saturday. It's like we've got to right some wrongs and uh, put in a solid performance there on Saturday. This is your, now your second full season at Cobb, if I'm right, yeah. yeah. How are things for you? Enjoying it? Yeah, really enjoying it, really enjoying it. It's a great place to uh, come and play rugby. It's a really good family environment, uh, and I love playing here. What's your proudest rugby moment? Uh, probably beating Saris here my first game uh, for Cov last year. Which rug position would you play if not your current one? Uh, got to be Crash Ball 12, I reckon. Who's your biggest supporter off the field? Just my parents. Just uh, love them when they come to the game and uh, they bring good energy. Pre-game superstition or ritual? Um, I don't really have one, but I always have a Red Bull and a pack of squashies. <laughs> Favourite team what to watch growing up? Probably would have been the All Blacks. Most memorable fan interaction? Don't have like a particular one in mind, but just the the sort of support that the BPA crowd bring every week is just second to none, really. One thing you always pack in your kit bag? Squashies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what would be your favourite Lions tour to go on? New Zealand, just because of the sights, I think. Cool, perfect. Cheers, sorry. Thanks, mate.